Two surviving victims of the Waffle House shooting are still in the hospital tonight recovering. Now, they are both in stable condition, and tonight a comment by one of those victims to National Mayor David Briley is making a lot of people smile. Fox 17 News' Matt Alvarez has that story. The heart of the city remains heavy tonight as we remember those that died over the weekend. We're also hoping for a speedy recovery for 21-year-old Shanita Wagner and 24-year-old Sharita Henderson, who remain in the hospital tonight after being hurt inside the Waffle House early Sunday morning. But in the face of tragedy, Mayor David Briley, who had been visiting the victims at Vanderbilt Medical yesterday, received a very specific request from Sharita Henderson. We walked into the room and uh, her father said, uh, she just told me uh, that she wanted to say this to you as soon as you walked in. And uh, she, he went on to say, uh, what can you do to fix the potholes on 440? The mayor says it had been a light moment in an otherwise down environment. I think that goes back to them just trying to pick themselves up and move on. But Sharita, from her hospital bed, chose a topic we're all familiar with. Infrastructure and the terrible condition of Interstate 440. I try not to drive on 440, that is for sure, but uh, I know it needs a lot of work and uh, there's, there are plans in, in, in place to try and get that done as quickly as possible. That's the one thing that she wanted to be fixed. What do you think about that? I mean, it needs to be fixed and it's crazy that she has so much going on and the only thing that she was really like focused on is the potholes. So I'm glad that she was able to, you know, smile. Had three realignments, four or five sets of new tires. So oh, because of 440? I mean like the potholes? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, they're everywhere you go. It's, we have jokes all over Facebook talking about found a two bedroom, two bath pothole for rent on 440. And there you go, spoken from uh, Nashville Motorists. Now, meantime, if you'd like to sign condolences to the four victims' families and to those who are healing at the hospital, there's a table inside the main lobby at the Metro Courthouse. You can do so during business hours up until Friday. Now, as far as Interstate 440, TDOT's working on it tonight and on Thursday to smooth out some spots, but then also they're doing that prior to the major resurfacing project, which will start this summer. It'll last for three years. Reporting live, Matt Alvarez, Fox 17 News.